Uh, you've had a look, chance to look at the, um, the video of the game, or the video of the game last weekend. Uh, you've had some kind of discussions amongst yourselves. In terms of your area of expertise, the scrum, um, how did you feel that went, and what areas do you feel you can improve on for this week? In areas in the scrum? Yeah. Uh, I, I probably was average, uh, I would have said. Um, so I think we coughed up three there in, in the game. So obviously, look, it's a, it's a big area. And uh, it's the area we're, um, I suppose, looking at and are trying to get better in, as always. Is that done to yourselves, or is it referee interpretation, or is it a mixture of both of us? Um, yeah, look, it's, it's probably a little bit of both, but I, don't, I think as a, as a group we put it on ourselves uh, and just try to take care of what we can take care of and, and, and get better for it, you know. Um, Paul spoke <coughs> Sunday Sorry. about um, about the lineup. He said he didn't think that was great. I know that's a collective, not greatness, so to speak. Is that something that you spoke specifically about? Yeah, like set piece is so big, isn't it, in the modern game and. Um, you know, probably our both counts, we probably didn't get what we wanted out of it, so, um, you know, we just spent a lot of time on it this week, um, obviously we have that little bit more of it's a standard week for us, we don't have two games in it, so uh, just putting the time in and uh, getting a better work. Do you feel that the energy level is, is bigger this week, you know, given the fact you haven't had to travel an extra game in the I, middle of the week? Uh, no, no, I think we arrived with plenty of time, uh, we all got in the week before the test on the Wednesday, so no, I don't think that's an issue. I think the lads are, um, you know, we're obviously it's tough for some of the lads backing up, but most of the starters didn't. So I think you know, just they can't use that as an excuse, if you know what I mean. So I think energy levels are good, and I suppose it's all on the line this weekend. You know, it's an indoor track, so there's going to be no rain, no conditions. It's slightly surreal, but it, it's the same for, for both teams. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was there in 2017. I didn't play, but I remember watching the game. It's, um, it's a cool stadium, isn't it? And obviously with the roof on, you know, it's it's, it's not huge by numbers, but I remember the atmosphere there was electric uh, down there for that game. So I uh, can't, can't, can't wait to go down. And in terms of last weekend, do you feel that there's a, there's an awful lot more in the locker from an Irish point of view? Yeah, yeah, 100 percent, yeah. Um, it's not easy though, you know, it's not test match rugby and you can't, it's test match rugby and you can't always get it your own way, so I suppose it's just trying to put your best foot forward and um, try execute and, and try to put what you're working out in the training pitch out there, you know. And just mentioning execution, I mean, you, you created quite a few try scoring opportunities, certainly in both matches, the one you were involved in last weekend that you, that you didn't take. Do you have to be more clinical or you know, in terms of uh, this weekend? Yep, yep, it's a huge part of it's a huge part of the game, you know, and um, you see the All Blacks when they got a few chances, you know, first phase, second phase, gone. Um, good luck, seven points. So, you know, it's a massive part of the game and, and being clinical with the opportunity you get because it is test match rugby and, you know, it's hard to, to create opportunities. And so when you get them, it's important you take. Thank you. No problem. What about the last couple of days been like? Reviews and trying to work out what to do this weekend. Yeah, look, to be fair, Monday or Sunday was was off, and uh, I suppose try to refresh yourself. And yesterday we would have had a lighter day, just like a thinking day, uh, getting around in small groups, having chats, and uh, seeing what we can fix up. And obviously we're throwing at him to pitch today and push it on again tomorrow. How unique is it to be facing the All Blacks again? Test two of a three-game series, which doesn't happen much. Then. Yeah, and it hasn't happened obviously in the last few years either with um, obviously COVID in the middle. I think the last, was Ireland's last three test tours to Africa, am I right in saying that? Australia, uh, sorry, Australia 18, South Africa 17, yeah. So it seems like a lot, of t it, it, uh, a long time. It's a uh, first time for a lot of players in the squad or a good chunk of them anyway to go on a, a three test tour. So it's great and that's what we're here for and it's, uh, we're here to learn and uh, obviously we two Maori games there as well. Similarities to the Lions tour this time around Yeah, last last week definitely felt like a Lions week. Uh, obviously with the two squads and you know just having to adapt and, and putting the head down and get on with it. Um, and trying to make the the best of whatever situation you're in, no excuse kind of mentality. So it did definitely feel a bit like a Lions Lions tour week. 
speaking of which, Kiwis always like a bit of crack, as you guys would put it. I think it's a proper pronunciation. Have you faced much of that from Kiwi fans the last couple of weeks? No, I've been mad surprised, really, about how many kind of Kiwis you meet with Irish heritage. Um, you know, even in the stuff at the gym we're in there and your people coming up and talking to you and, uh, you know, obviously very, very knowledgeable about the rugby and uh, but it really surprised me how many kind of, you know, grandparents or great-grandparents or, you know, um, heritage there is, you know. They're asking for tickets. Hasn't been too bad for tickets. Bundy Aki's just absolutely hoovered everything up, so uh, even if they're looking for him, I wouldn't have him. Do you have anyone over from home? No, no one travelled uh, uh, this time around. Uh, how are you feeling mentally and physically? Like, both last season, when you think back to the Lions tour this time last year, are you wrecked or anything normal? Not wrecked, you know what I mean? It kind of comes and goes, really. We would have had a break before we came on tour. And obviously, when you're you know, a different environment, different stimulus, you know, you pick up. I suppose we're very well looked after in terms of uh, a player group in Ireland. Um, we still play a lot of games, but it's in comparison, you're not flogged, for the lack of a better word. So, um, you know, I think everyone's is holding up. Yeah, there's a few knocks and niggles in the squad. Of course, there is at the end of a season, but I think energy-wise and motivational-wise, everyone's pretty good. How's the coffee? I haven't tasted yet. Oh, sorry, it's I'm supposed to be good. It's, it's um, supposed to be good. My name's Narelle from New South. Nice to meet you. How are you now? Thank you. Um, what improvements do you think that the All Blacks will make? This it was their first hit out in a long time, wasn't it? So, obviously, they had disruption in their camp uh, last week. We seen them try out, I suppose, a small bit different face shape, hitting that third man and playing out the back of it. And so, I'm sure it's just about getting a little bit more familiarity with that. Obviously, it'd be great for them to, if I was in their camp, hitting, getting that first hit out. Obviously, some of them haven't played since you know Super Rugby, the final, and etc. And they're all coming in COVID and camp management out. So. I'm sure they'll be working hard. Uh, you know, it's hard to second guess what they'll do, but uh, I'm sure just getting a bit more synchronised within it all, you know. Sam Whitelock is out this week. What does that change for you guys? Um, not a massive amount for us, because um, I suppose we still have to try to look after our own stuff as best as we can. Um, but from an all-back point of view, you know, he's such an influential player for them, especially, you know, a lot around line out time, contact time, etc. You saw him at that third that third player make a role a few times actually at the weekend. So um I don't doubt, you know, the All Blacks and squads, you know, they have plenty of people there, um, you know, and quality and depth, but you know, he's a obviously an unbelievably experienced uh, role player. Is this an easier test to prepare for knowing that the conditions I guess uh, yeah, but you know we're from Ireland, so we're pretty used to rain, hail, and snow, and sunshine. And five minutes later, so um, in some ways yes, in some way no. Um, um, yeah. Ty, can I ask you just about Greg Feek? Um, you know, All Blacks come coach, former Irish come coach, former Linster come coach. Uh, you know what, what kind of a person he is, what he demands from 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 a player, regards to who he's coaching and, and the influence he's had in your career. Uh, yeah, like he's obviously had a huge influence on me. He's kind of like Papa Scrums to me, really, because obviously I would have come in through Leinster. He was scrum coach in Leinster, transitioned through scrum coach in Ireland. So I suppose he's put a big body of work into, I suppose, me through developmental years, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, obviously I have a huge amount of respect for him and um, would share, you know, through knowing the man and being taught by him and discussions with him, a lot of the same kind of ideological ideas around the scrum.